ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತೇ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ನಿಧೇ ಗುರವಿ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ನಿಧಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಲ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಸರ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾ ನಿಧಿ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ನೋಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಥರೋಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಹೌ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಆಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರೆಷರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಪದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ ಪದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ for ordinary communication interaction itself you are using the language what to talk of the highest subject matter to communicate how must um, knowledge a person should uh, require to communicate that uh, uncommunicable teaching <coughs> subject matter therefore language is very very important the second shastram is tarka shastram tarka shastram or pramana shastram logical thinking is required to the teacher as well as the student also logic means yukti in it so the shastra that which specializes in proper um, communication or proper thinking not communication proper thinking so pada shastram to use the language you have to use what comes out what you have in your mind only it comes what you are thinking only it comes therefore you must have a proper thinking before you are talking you should not have any vague understanding or confusion in your thinking if there is a vague confusion thinking at your thought level what you communicate confusion only you communicate vagueness only you communicate so you cannot communicate any clear cut knowledge to anybody no one can get clarity if you don't have proper thinking so every thought has to be put in its own block the thought pattern thinking pattern have to keep in a proper manner proper thinking is required a wrong thinking will mislead the people and they get the wrong conclusions <clears throat> if my thinking is wrong and i do not know that is wrong and i communicate wrong ideas views to people and they also spread the 
same wrong views. Therefore, all systems of philosophy, most of them, all are wrong interpretation, wrong, because of wrong thinking, they are interpreting wrongly. Maximum other systems of philosophy, Nastika system, even other Astikas also, why they have presented other than Advaitam? Why everyone has not taken Advaitam, non-dual Brahman, exactly? Simple reason, because of non-thinking. Thinking, but not properly thinking. We feel so bad to say that, how we can say such a great Acharya will have a, such a wrong thinking or improper thinking. Na? Possible. It is possible. How can you decide a person is great? On what basis you decide? From some group of people's standpoint, that person may be great. From some another group of people's standpoint, another person may be great. On what basis you conclude this person is great? Ruthlessly we have to accept this, however much a person is great, in his thinking if there is a wrong, improper thinking, he spread that improper teaching. So what, you, how can you say that is improper teaching? Because of improper thinking, therefore they communicate the language improper method of teaching and that teaching alone give the wrong interpretation. How can you say that? Nah? Because they arrive at a wrong conclusion. How a Advaiti can say this boldly? Because they have arrived at a wrong conclusion, Dvaitam, Vishishtha Dvaitam, and so many other Vadams have come, all conclusions are based on wrong interpretation. Wrong interpretation is based on wrong thinking. The wrong thinking is because of their ignorance. Therefore, Tattvashastram is that which symbolizes that proper thinking. You have to think properly in a right manner you have to think. So, language alone is not sufficient. If language is there, you cannot just like that communicate. You have to communicate the truth, the reality, you must have a proper thinking. Correct your thinking first. Otherwise, you will end up in wrong conclusion. If you end up in wrong conclusion, you are eternally in samsara. Dvaitam, duality, insecurity, unhappiness. Janana Marana Chakran. So, because of your improper thinking. So, student also required proper thinking. Teacher also, of course, no? teacher also required proper thinking. So, the language I can communicate. I am thinking just. You do not know what I am thinking. Unless I bring out through language. Suppose, I ask you, bring that book. From that counter, you bring that book. These are the words, Padashastra. Please, you bring that book. I thought in the mind, I need a book. You do not know that I want the book. So, I have to communicate. If I sit quietly, don't you know that I want the book? I cannot ask you. I have in my mind, I need a book. What I have to do? I have to put into language. I have to ask you. Then only you can bring that book. So the thought has to be converted into Shabdam. The thought has to be converted into Padashastram. Pramana Shastram or Tarka Shastram is that at the thought thinking level, it uh, is converted, shifted into language. 
So this language, one person wrote, I am well, I hope you are all in the well. One person wrote a letter, I am well, I hope you are all in the well. So thought has to be communicated properly, propositions have to be communicated properly. In spite of so much knowledge also, Vidya, Dhurina, Parangataha, Irindalangoda, there are some human no, upadhi limitations are there. In spite of that, a lot of mistakes we commit. If we are not uh, aware of uh, this proper thinking, Padashastram, at least to some extent we have to communicate. Jagrataya irkanam. For that one shloka is there. If you don't have proper thinking and trying to proper language you don't know, the right language or proper language or thinking you not, do not have, suppose you want to talk in between the big uh, sabha. It is like an example, nice shloka is there. It is like this. What is that? <coughs> Shabda Shastram Anadhitya, without studying the Shabda Shastram language, Yaha puna, Puman Vaktum Ichati. A person who wants to talk, who desire to talk. Shabda Shastram Anadhitya, without studying language. Yaha Puman Vaktum Ichati, Vaches Sabhantarena. Vaches means some words he want to use, he want to speak. Sabhantare. In the midst of many people. It is like, without knowledge of language, he want to speak among so many hundreds of people or group of people. It is like, what? Rodhu michati vane madotkatam hastim hastinam Kamala Nala Tantuna. It is like a person who is talking in between people without knowing the language. It is like controlling the elephant which is you know, mad. Madotkatam. It is like trying to control the elephant. Rodhu Michati Vane Madotkatam Hastinam. With what? Kamala Nala Tantuna. With a stalk of that lotus. You know that lotus has a stalk you know, and a lot of long stem. With that he want to tie that mad elephant. Mudima. It is not possible. It is like that talking in between or among the people without any language or proper thinking. No? Therefore, we have to study thoroughly. You know. Lot of study is required. We should not stop our study. The more clarity comes, you have to go on, on and on and on. You have to study, study, study. Saraswati Matana Vidakuda. Okay. This is called Tarka Shastram or Mimamsa Shastram. Then what about Vakya Shastram? Vakya Shastram is called Mimamsa Shastram, special skill in interpretation. The Vedas, the skill of Vedic interpretation, not local books interpretation. You require a special skill to interpret the Vedic teaching, Vedas. Especially Vedanta, still much more tougher no, than other subjects. So that interpretation, just like uh, the lawyer or judge, he has to interpret his constitutional laws. The constitution, they have rules, regulations, civil law, the penal code, all these codes. He should know how to interpret in every field. They have their way of interpretation. Because words give 
different meanings in different areas. One Sardar, he read the news in the newspaper. What is that news? Na? The government is going to put the ceiling on all the public uh, properties. Na? And public land or public property, government is going to put the ceiling. Na? The Sardarji is constructing a house. He has not yet put the ceiling. He thought, oh, government is going to put the ceiling. Therefore, I need not put why unnecessarily expenditure? Let the government come and put the ceiling in. What do you mean by ceiling there? In? That is why the virus and another thing is vital information. Huh? Why, why, virus, vital information, resources, abstraction. Seize, no? It is seize, no? Seize means what? Avoiding, no? It is obstructing. Obstructing. Under seize, no? Vital information under seize, no? That is called virus, no? So, sometimes our information also under seize, no? <laughs> so, it should not be under seas or suppression. It has to come out. Very, very, very difficult. Imagine how great the authors, the teachers, they have communicated such a knowledge, great knowledge. Till today it is coming. In spite of all human beings' limitations, somehow it is coming. Hmm? Therefore, teacher has to be very, very careful in communicating that. Interpretation is very important. Ceiling and Edo ceiling proper interpret pananam. That is called interpretation. Similarly, in Veda also. One place, uh, the one type of meaning, another place, another type of meaning, it comes. For example, in Veda, Sadeva Saumya Idamagra Asit, one statement, Sat alone was there before the creation. This is the statement given in the Upanishad. Sadeva Asit. Asadva idamagra asid. Another place, no? Upanishad says, Asat alone is there before the creation. One place, no? Satta irkan shalradi, one place, no? Asatta irkan shalradi. Edi correct, no? You have to go to a traditional guru. That guru alone knows how to interpret. Therefore, we should not study Upanishad on our own. <coughs> Another place, Upanishad says, Vidyaya Moksha. Another place, Upanishad says, Avidyaya Moksha. In Vidya, Avidya, what meaning you have to take? Therefore, interpret properly. One one context, one one type of meaning. It is a Mimamsa Shastram. Vakya Shastram or Mimamsa Shastram. One should know how to interpret the Mahavakyams or the statements of the Upanishads. So, if you don't interpret properly at Puro Mimamsa, nothing you are going to miss, Anatma, whole thing. But here in Atma Vichara, if you interpret wrongly, you cannot arrive at that reality, truth. The Manusha Janma will become waste. Therefore, it's a very, very carefully we have to study. Dakshinamurti is one who is the, the embodiment of such knowledge with Padashastram, Tarkashastram, Mimamsa, Shastram. Ordinary local Acharyas, we give what titles. Vidya, Parangataha, Dhurinaha. What to talk of Dakshinamurti? Or Bhati Sholanama? Therefore, we have to understand. The last week I was uh, um, reading that shloka about Guru. 
many of you are trying to write i have not completed all the four lines just i will read that shloka aachinoti shastrani aachari sthapayatyapi first line aachinoti shastrani the one who learns all shastrams aachari sthapayatyapi make others to practice Swayam Acharate Yasmat. He himself also implement. Whatever he learns, he implements. Tasmat Acharya Iti Ucchate. This is the shloka format. Now we will see the next word in this. It is Nidhaye Sarva Vidyanan. It is the explanation. Nidhiya Anna Chumma Cholla Kudadu. What is Nidhiya Anna? It is the explanation of Nidhiya Anna. Next word is Bhishaje Bhavaroginam. <coughs> Bhishad means um, Marund. Vaidyaha. Ra. Vaidyaha. Bhishaje Bhavaroginam. Bhava means um, Punaha Panaha Jayate Iti Bhavaha. Samsara. Bhavaha. पुनः पुनः जायते भवहा मिन्स बर्त पुनरपि जननम पुनरपि मरणम पुनः पुनः जायते भवति इति भवहा भव रोगिनाम पीपल आर सफरिंग विथ दट भव रोगा दि संसार रोगा जनन मरण व्याधि चक्रम दुखम Saro. That uh, Bhavaroga, to cure that Bhavaroga, who is the doctor in Dakshina Murti? You are the Vaidyaha, Vishajena, Jakarantaha, Pumlingaha, Vishaj Shabdaha, Vishak, Vishajo, Vishajaha, Vishaje, Vishakbhyam, Vishakbhyaha. So that Bhishak, you are the remover of that samsara bhavaroga to you my salutations. You have to uh, supply. Namaha, namaha, you have to supply. Nidhaye sarva vidyanam namaha. Bhishaje bhavaroginam namaha. Gurave sarva lokanam. You are the Guru for the entire universe. Sarva Loka Naam. Guru of all Lokas. Shishya of none. Adi Guru, no? Guru of all Lokas. Shishya of none. He was not a Shishya. So Bhagavan need not go and learn. Is it not? Bhagavan need not go and learn. Bhagavan himself knows everything. Therefore, Gurave Sarva Lokanam. Who is he? Dakshina Murti. Dakshina Murtaye. To such Dakshina Murti, my salutations. Namaskarahan. Next shloka we will read. Om Namah Pranavarthaya Shuddha Jnanaika Murtaya Nirmalaya Prashantaya Dakshina Murtaya Namah Pranavarthaya Pranavaha means Omkaram Pra plus Nu Dhatu Nu means to sound or to name that Lord Dakshinamurti is named as Pranavaha, Pranavarthaya, Lakshyartha. Pranava, if you go to its Lakshyartha, you get, you arrive at that Dakshinamurti. Nirgunam Brahman. Pranavarthaya Lakshartha Nartha. Through this Omkara, 
in vamkara letter there are three letters akara ukara makara akara represents virat dakshina murti akara the letter in vamkara represents dakshina murti which has got um, sthula guna sthula guna means sthula attributes gross attributes virat akara then ukara represents na uh, hiranya garbhana which has got sukshma attributes subtle attributes hiranya garbha <coughs> then makara represents ishvara which has got a karana gunas and causal attributes so virat hiranya garbha ishvara put together dakshina murti put together omkara sthula sukshma karana gunas sthula sukshma karana shariram put together entire dakshina murti you can that name is proper to give to dakshina murti pranavah om is called pranavah om is called pranavah om is equal to pranavah pra plus nu dhatu pranavah because of that refa it become nakara pranavah what is pranavah om pranavah means a name the sound that na- name you can give what name om to whom dakshina murti why om is nothing but three letters virat hiranya garbha ishvara dakshina murti is nothing but virat hiranya garbha ishvara so om is relevant to dakshina murti which is pranavah om anna nardhan avati it om av dhatu lande vandade av avadhat means to protect the one who protects the entire universe is called om nirguna swarupam is his real nature real dakshina murti is formless or formed no, formless formless dakshina murti manifest in a form for the sake of worship abhishekam so formless dakshina murti manifest formless dakshina murti is known as nirgunam brahma take form for the sake of worship so bhaktas devotees can worship therefore he appears in the form ashta murti so his real nature is next line it comes na om namah pranavarthaya second half of the first line shuddha gnanaika murtaye what is his real form his real form is shuddha gnanam shuddha gnanam murtaye means murti means a form here form means you should not take regular meaning of form here form means swarupam nature whose nature is or whose swarupam is ekam shuddha gnanam shuddha gnanam ekam nar pure shuddha means pure gnanam means chaitanyam how many chaitanyams are there ekam only one Chaitanya means Nabhumusgalingam, that means Ekam means Chalana. Shuddham means Chalana. Shuddha Jnanaika Murti. Murti means whose nature, Swarupam is pure Chaitanya, which is homogeneous. One. Homogeneous and one and artham. ekam shuddham gnanam chaitanyam eva murti hi yasya saha sach chaitanyam brahma dakshina murti 
हु इज शुद्ध चैतन्य मीन्स अनअडल्टरेटेड है ना अर्थात हु इज नॉट डिस्टर्बड बाय एनी इम्प्योरिटीज प्योर एन अर्थ दट दक्षिणामूर्ति निर्मलाया टू दैट प्योर दक्षिणामूर्ति निर्मलाय अनअडल्टरेटेड अनडिस्टर्ब बाई एनी इंप्यूरीटी वाट डू यू मीन बाई इंप्यूरीटी अज्ञानम इज इंप्यूरीटी हाउ यू कैन कॉल अज्ञानम एज इंप्यूरीटी बिकॉज ऑफ अज्ञानम रागद्वेश विल कम बिकॉज ऑफ राग द्वेश सुख दुख विल कम पुण्य पाप कम पुण्य पाप इट्स इज अलुक That itself is impurity. Even punya also impurity. Golden chain. So therefore, nirmalaya means who is free from agnana um, impurity. In other, prashantaya who is of the nature of tranquility. Once you come to Maya, there is no tranquility. There is no equilibrium. Sattva, Rajas, Tamo, Gunas are all in imbalance. That is why people they give medicine also. When the hormonal imbalance, that means medicine put to go, stop it. Then tell me. Why did that? When the chemicals are imbalance, or this is all. Who is doing it? Well, the Maya is doing it well. The Maya is the problem. So therefore, in Shuddha Brahma Chaitanya, in the imbalance uh, unequilibrium won't be there therefore he is prashantaha prashantaya to such tranquil shuddha chaitanyam dakshina murti my salutations all beautiful shlokas no so dakshina murti this is uh, dakshina murti stotram is the essence of upanishads अरे इंगे वेदांत में उन्नत नहीं रखे पुरी अर्थात इन्हें स्वामी ने दक्षिण आमूर्ति स्तोत्र ने चले इन्हें हाई फिलासफी को पोरा ना बिकॉज़ दिस इज़ द टीचिंग ऑफ़ उपनिषद्स यू कैन नॉट गो एस्ट्रे फ्रॉम दिस नर देवरफॉर बिफोर स्टडीइंग दक्षिण आमूर्ति स्तोत उपनिषद बिफोर स्टडी You have to study the Shina Murti Stotra. As an introduction to Upanishads, you have to study the Shina Murti Stotra. As an highest knowledge, final philosophical teaching, after Upanishads also, you have to study the Shina Murti Stotra. So, therefore, we are studying. Okay. Now, one more shloka is there. In some books, this shloka. is not given in some books uh, it is there ishvaro gururatmeeti because this is taken from sureshwara acharya's manasolasa that's why it is not given in some books but anyhow our regular prayer we are chanting therefore let us see the meaning ange vanda apuram paakalam let it Come there also. Here also we'll see. Ishvaro Guru Ratmeti Murti Veda Vibhagine Vyoma Vadvyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murta Ye Namaha Vibhagine To that Dakshina Murti To you ओ दक्षिणा मूर्ति, who is divided into three fold ways, विभागी ने नर, divided into three, how न, ईश्वरो गुरु आत्मेतीन, ईश्वरा हा, one manifestation as ishvara you are alone appearing as guru also you are only appearing atma ishvaro guru ratmeti the student 
is also Dakshina Murti. You are only appearing in the form of Ishvara, Guru and Atman. Here Ishvara means Prameyam. To be known. To be known as what? Shuddha Satchit Ananda Swarupama Adaya Vendaya Vishyam Inanna Life La Prameyam To be known is Brahman Shuddha Chaitanya So you are only the Ishwaraha Saguna Ishwara Through Saguna Ishwara you go to Nirguna Brahman Without Saguna Ishwara Gnanam Pooja Bhakti Bhajana Nariya Radha Kalyana Pandi Pandi Yedo or Janmak Vedanta class go over. Nilia Rukmini Kalyana, Radha Kalyana Nariya Kalyana la Pandi to Wapan. The Saguna Bhakti Lamal Nirguna Gnana Tika Varamudia Vandalum Puria. But Nirguna Brahma Gnana is impossible without Saguna Brahma Upasana. Either in this Janma or previous Janma. And the Samskara me is the Moolamada Varo. Hadi Madhuri Saguna Brahma Upasana, Saguna Ishwara Upasana, Puja, all are incomplete. Arakora Gnanam, Arakora Bhaktida without Nirguna Brahma Gnanam. Idi Illamal Adivarad, Adivaramal Idi. Apoornam mannar. Apoornam. Finite. And the PHS korakta irindne irindne irukkoum. Peace, happiness, security varavay varad. Yavada radha kalyadam pannin ano? Ullda kudla yavada bhajana pannin ano? Yavada adi kritike and the puja in the puja. Nenna ma pannra anliyo? Yavada pannin ano? Apadi ye irukkoum agni ano? So, yadhi venu ipponna? Adhi venu, idhi venu. This is the first thing. This is the first thing. This is the first thing. This Okay. the The life purpose is served. Many people do not know this. Lord Krishna says in the 7th chapter. What to do, Arjuna? Many people stuck there itself because of my Maya. <laughs> they are very much attracted to that. In dance, bhajans, music, a lot of glorifications, they are all um, just mesmerized. But some people who are all mature, they come here also. After completing that, they come here. Come here in a Kesari High School. Okay. To the class, they come here to study such a tough topic, you know. Nirgunam Brahman. So, you can puja the puja and the puja and the puja Okay. You can go to the puja and the puja and the puja and the puja and Bhagavan is there to bless you. You have come to know his higher nature, no? So, you need not worry. Okay? I am giving assurance. <laughs> so, the Guru is called Acharya is Pramanam. Ishwara is Prameyam to be known. Saguna to Nirguna you have to go. Guru also is called here Ishwaro Gururatmeti Murti Veda Vibhagine. Your form, your nature is divided as Guru also. Guru comes here what? As Pramanam. Guru comes as Pramanam. Shastra Shabda you cannot. Read by yourself. Shabda cannot reveal by itself. Cassette is there. Can it play by itself? Cassette is there. Or CD is there. You require what? CD? Player. Cassette? Player. Similarly, all Veda Shabdas, Upanishads are all like cassettes. Like CDs. Yeah. Who is Guru? Is Guru is the player. Our Vailandi and the Varanam. It has to come through the mouth of the Guru. Therefore, Guru is come under what? 
pramanam from whose mouth the pramanam is working or operated cassette is operated through the player cd is the operated through the cd player and the pramanam shabda pramanam veda pramanam is operated through the guru's mouth therefore guru can be called as what pramanam so prameyam pramanam who is the one learning here pramata shishya so shishya is the pramata who is sitting is none other than consciousness principle only consciousness principle guru is also consciousness principle ishwara is also ha uh, unconscious and jola is no ishwara is also consciousness principle so you the dakshina murti satchit consciousness principle manifesting as prameyam ishwara as pramanam guru as pramata shishya ishvaro guru ratmeti murti bheda vibhagine why vyomabat vyapta dehaya what is your deham you are manifesting appearing or pervading like a akasha vyoma means akasha space who is all pervading like space vyoma vat like space vat means like vyoma vat vyapta means pervading where space is pervading we should not ask where space is not pervading and kekad illiyo therefore where dakshina murti is pervading and all pervading vyoma vat vyapta dehaya to that swarupam deha means here nature swarupam deha na body edutta vyoma vat aha mudiyad priyado so deha na you should not take regular meaning why a regular meaning you take deha it cannot be all pervading since vyoma vat said vyaptam deha means you have to take as swarupam your swarupam is all pervading swarupam nature not in one temple in one place see how beautiful who can understand this na no? concept na no? ingeda porakano you have to either rush here to this country or you have to born in this country to understand this great wonderful beautiful ishwara sagunam nirgunam temple saguna all pervading lo nirgunam all pervading lo nirgunam this is the original nature in shop whose original nature is undivided an artham the space you cannot divide can you divide the space since dakshina murti also all pervading you cannot divide the real nature of dakshina murti and the dakshina murti eppadi irpar in the dakshina murti eppadi irpar anna avarella sagunanda ivar vyoma vat vyapta dehayalo no division divisionless dakshina murti these are all glorifications of dakshina murti saguna roopena nirguna roopena you have to do dhyanam these are dhyana shlokas on dakshina murti stotram which is written by adi shankaracharya now with this background we are going to enter into proper text dakshina murti stotram shankaracharya has written this dakshina murti stotram for two purposes two in one what is two in one dakshina murti stotram anirke stotram an anartham stuti stuti means what glorification glorification stuti comes where in sagunam or nirgunam sagunam so as a prayer you can chant dakshina murti stotram as a 
ಉಪನಿಷದಿಕ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡು ನಿಧಿಧ್ಯಾಸನಂ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡು ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಭಕ್ತ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಗುಣ ಈಶ್ವರ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಛಾಂಟ್ ಪಾರಾಯಣ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ವರ್ತ್ ಟು ಛಾಂಟ್ ಮೇಧಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೇಧಸ್ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೇಧಸ್ ಅರಕೊರ ಮೇಧಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ವೇಲ ಆಹಾದಿಂಗೆ ಯು ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಎ ಟ್ರಮೆಂಡಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಸೇಕ್ ಡು ಮೇಧಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಛಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ನಿಧಿಧ್ಯಾಸನ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಛ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಟು ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಂ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಸಾರ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಟ್ ಯು ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಛ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಆಸ್ ತುತಿ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ ನಿಧಿಧ್ಯಾಸನ ಮಂತ್ರ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಎಯ್ದರ್ ವೇ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಛ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೇ ವಿ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಡೇ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಚಾಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವಿಶ್ವಂ ದರ್ಪಣ ದೃಶ್ಯಮಾನಗರಿ ತುಲ್ಯಂ ನಿಜಾಂತರ್ಗತ ಪಶ್ಯನ್ನಾತ್ಮನಿ ಮಾಯ ಬಹಿರಿವೋತ್ ಭೂತ ಯಥಾನಿದ್ರಯ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಕುರುತೆ ಪ್ರಬೋಧ ಸಮಯೆ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಯಿದ ಶ್ರೀದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಲೈನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಫರ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಏಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಅಷ್ಟಕಂ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಹಸ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಮೋರ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ದಶಕಂ ಎನಿ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೆನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಲೈನ್ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಇದಂ ನಮಃ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಇದಂ ಇದಂ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಇದಂ ನಮಃ ಮೈ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಟು ದಟ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಐಶ್ವರ್ಯ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಫ್ಲೆಡ್ಜಡ್ ಅನ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಫ್ಲೆಡ್ಜಡ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಹಿ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪರಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪರಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಇದಂ ನಮಃ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಇನ್ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಗುರು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇನ್ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಡಿ ಯು ಸಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಸಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಬಟ್ ದ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ಅಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಗುರು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಗವತ್ ಪಾದ ಮೈ ಗುರು ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಗುರು ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ದಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ 
ಗುರು ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತಯೇ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಯೇ ಸೊ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷಂ ಇನ್ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಮೈ ಗುರು ಈಸ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷಂ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಅಪ್ಪ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬಡಿ ವೋಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ಎ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷಂ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಗುರು ಮೈ ಗುರು ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ರಿವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಮೈ ಗುರು ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ರಿವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೈ ಗುರು ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತಯೇ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಯೇ ಸೊ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತಯೇ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಯೇ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಇನ್ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಪಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೈ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಥ್ರೂ ಮೈ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಟು ಇನ್ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದ ಗುರು ಅನ್ನ ಯಸ್ಯ ದೇವೇ ಪರಾಭಕ್ತಿ ಯಥಾ ದೇವೇ ತಥಾ ಗುರೌ ನರ್ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಯು ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದ ಈಶ್ವರ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ದ ಗುರು ಸಚ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡೌಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನ್ನ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣವಾ ಇರಂದಾದ ಗುರು ಕಟಾಕ್ಷ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣವಾ ಕಳಿಕ ಗುರು ಕಟಾಕ್ಷ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣವಾ ಇರಂದಾದ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ವರು ಅದೇ ಗುರು ಕಟಾಕ್ಷ ಇಲ್ಲಾಮಲೆ ಗುರು ಕೃಪ ಇಲ್ಲಾಮಲೆ ಆತ್ಮಕೃಪ ವರಾದ ಗುರು ಕಟಾಕ್ಷ ವೇಣವನ್ನ ಗುರು ಕೃಪ ಎಪ್ಪಡಿ ಇರ್ಕಣವನ್ನ ಈಶ್ವರ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಈಶ್ವರ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಟು ಗುರು ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗುರು ಅಂದ that bhakti you must have shankaracharya says pratyaksha paroksha dakshina murtaye namaha now this is the whole shloka is the essence of upanishads what is the essence of the upanishads and atma gnanam what is atma gnanam before going to the word to word meaning we have to see the background atma gnana means brahma satyam jagan mithya jeevo brahmaiva na paraha in the atma gnana is the essence of the upanishadic teaching ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಜಗನ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ನಾರದ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ಡ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ನಾರದ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಸೋಹಂ ಭಗವ ಮಂತ್ರ ವೇದೇವಾಸ್ಮಿ ನ ಆತ್ಮವಿತ್ ಹೇ ಭಗವನ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ i know only the mantras of veda purva veda anta all shastrams i know all mantras i know veda mantra mantra vedeva asmi ante mantra veda anna all mantra vit i am mantra veda asmi i am the knower of mantras na atma vit i am not the knower of atma ಶ್ರುತ ಭಗವದೃಷಿಭ್ಯ ಐ ಹೇರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಋಷೀಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂರ್ಡ್ ಋಷೀಸ್ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ತರತಿ ಶೋಕಂ ಆತ್ಮವಿತ್ ದ ನೋವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಕ್ರಾಸಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸಾರು ತರತಿ ಶೋಕಂ ಆತ್ಮವಿತ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ರವಿತ್ ನ ಆತ್ಮವಿತ್ 
அப்படி என்ன என்ன அர்த்தம் எனக்கு சோகம் இருக்கு என்ன அர்த்தம் தரதி சோகம் ஆத்மா வித் தேர் ஃபோர் சோகம் பகவக சோச்சாமி சின்ஸ் ஐ எம் நாட் த நோவர் ஆஃப் ஆத்மா ஐ எம் ஓன்லி த நோவர் ஆஃப் மந்த்ராஸ் ஆல் மந்த்ர பாக ஐனோ ஸ்டில் ஐ ஆம் இன் சாரோ சோகம் பகவக சக அகம் ஐ ஆம் தட் பர்சன் ஹூ ஹூ நோஸ் ஆல் மந்த்ராஸ் சோச்சாமி ஐ ஆம் வரியிங் I am with full of sorrow, with limitation. Still I feel empty. Who says? Narada. Narada is what I said. We are not going to die. Narada himself is confessing himself. I do not know. I am so chami. Therefore what? Tan, tan, tan maam bhagavan shokasya param tarayatu. Hey bhagavan. such me you just help me to cross over this shore of shoka in the sa- shoka i can't withstand please take me away from this shore take me from this samsara shore to that other shore what is that other shore brahman atma atma vit tarati shokam nar so to cross over swaro where to come here, here to come so what is that atman atma is called consciousness atma is called consciousness where is that atma the consciousness kannuk theriyada invisible you cannot see the electricity you can experience the electricity you cannot see the electricity through the bulb filament you experience the electricity electricity is invisible but we take ourselves here atma gnanam and then knowledge of the self you are asking for the knowledge of the self that means you do not know the self then what do you know you know about only body mind complex all people who do not know about atma as their nature they are taking themselves as body mind complex i am what i am this body i am mind this is called not knowing the atma taking the body mind as themselves not knowing the atma knowing the body mind body mind will become what not knowing the atma they know body mind in the body mind comes under what anatma anatma so body mind comes under anatma we know very well about what anatma <coughs> what do you mean by there are four five components in anatma exactly three i have added two swami ji adds two more na no? totally five anatmas in the five anatmas lo ne velila varanda you are mukta what are they in? number 1 world number 2 body number 3 mind and number 4 family number 5 process profession world body mind family profession this profession and family also you have to include anatma in the mood or in the anjive anatma you have to disown this five you have to own up the atma what is that atma next class we'll see பூர்ணமத பூர்ணமிதம் பூர்ணாத் பூர்ணமுதட்சே பூர்ணய பூர்ணமாய பூர்ணமேவசிஷே ஓம் ஷாந்தி ஹரி ஓம் ஸ்ரீகுருபியோ நம ஹரி ஓம்